can get it with the back. Share and share that with another video on 5 tips for beginners and to advance. In the previous videos, we have seen about typecasting and we have seen about int typecasting. In our today's video, we are going to see about the next topics of Python. In our today's video, we are going to see about the float data type. We know that any of the floating data has two digits or one digit in the real and with a dot, it has a certain digits here. So this, if the representation is in this particular format, we call it a float data type. So let's say we can use the float function to convert other type values to float data type. So for example, if we have an integer, then we can convert this integer into this float type that is with a point. Then next, you can see here the example float 10 will be converted to a decimal point and a zero after that. Next, you have a float. So this type of number that is there, this we know that we call it as a complex number. So let us see if we can do such kind of conversions. You cannot convert the complex to float. Next, you have a true. So you can see that this a true is having this true always in the boolean value it is 1. So in the float it is going to give us 1.0. In the false you are going to have it as 0.0. .0. Then float 10 of string. So this is a number within the string. So it is going to convert it into the floating point. You have 10.5 in the string. It is converted. Next you have a string num alphabet in the floating point. So this does not convert because it is a string. You cannot convert a string to float. But you can question here you have also have a string but it is converted to float. But here it is numerics. Here it is alphabet. So you cannot do that. Again here also you can convert if there is no alphabet. But since there is an alphabet D over here it cannot convert it. So let us see these things in the Visual Studio Code. Alright. We have a Visual Studio Code. So let's see print float function so if you want to convert 10 that is the new rex we'll save it and run so we have a 10 converted next let us see the complex number 10 plus 5j save it run it so you can see your 10 plus 5j argument must be a string or a real number and not a complex. So you cannot convert a complex number. So next we had a string with the numerics. Save it. Run. It does take some time to run. Okay, since there is another, okay, you can see it is 10.0. So with a point that is a floating string, floating number string, so you can see it is 10.5 again. Now, if we are going to add the same thing within the numerics, so you can see, could not convert a string to float 10. So, you can see this. This is the condition. So next, you have 0, D, 1, 1, 1, 1, and B. Save it. Just when you run this program, Again, you will be having the same thing. It is string to float and you cannot convert this kind of data. This is taken again as a string here. So this is all about the float value conversion to string and other data types. Oh, uh, we forgot to see about the Boolean. So we have two values in the Boolean. One is true and one is false. So let us see for the true. Run this. You can see it is a 1.0. In the similar fashion, if you have a false, you can also type convert the false. Once when you give false, it is having the option uh, answer as 0, 0.0. So this is all about the float. Next, let us see about the complex functions. How can a complex number can be converted from one form to another form? So here you have a complex number, a complex function to convert other types into the complex type. To convert this complex type, you have two forms. The first form is the complex function. Let's see the second form later. 
So first form is complex number. We can use this function to convert x into complex number put real part x and imaginary part as 0. So for the numbers which for the numbers which has only the real part you can use this complex x function. So for example you can see here you have only the real part that is 10 so we have given 10 as the real part and plus 0 as the imaginary part. Again 10.5 again 10.5 is the real part and 0j is the imaginary part that is given. Next again true that is 1 plus oj false is oj because there is no thing here. So 0 plus 0j is good as writing only j oj right. So complex of a string of 10 so it is 10 plus oj 10.5 again 10 so this cannot be because there is a character here. Alright, so next let us see the second form as well, where you are going to give it x as well as the y function for that. So you can use to convert this method to convert x and y into complex numbers such that x will be the real part and y will be the imaginary part. Example, complex 10, minus 2, you have 10 minus 2j. There is plus here for any complex number, it is a plus bj. Since this b value that is there, it is minus 2, so it is going to have 10 minus 2j. True, comma, false, so 1 plus oj. This is about your complex function, so let us see the complex functions in the Visual Studio. So we have two types, right? One is print complex with only the real part. So I'll just keep the real part here, I'll save this, run the function. Now you can see it is 10 plus oj here in the output. So in the same way if I am going to give 10.5 that is the floating number to complex. So when the first the floating number is given and to turn it into the complex you have 10.5 plus oj. Then you have a string. So we already know that the string cannot be converted into complex nor int nor a float. Okay. Fine. So next we have boolean values. Save this and these boolean values never be in the double code. Again it is giving me 1 plus oj. So this is about the single function. I mean single argument function. Now let us add two arguments. I'll give a true comma 2. Let us run this. Now you can see the true value is 1 since it is giving it 1 and the true value is the imaginary part. In the same way, if you want, you can also give your 10, save this. So these are the two integers that we have, that is the int types. You can also give them into float, that is 0.2 and 0.5, save it and run. Now you can see that both the floating points have got the values in the in complex numbers. So this is how you can convert other types into the complex function and the floating function. So this is all for today's video. Meet you again in the next video. Till then, keep learning and stay tuned. Bye.